good morning. We're here up in Sussex. I uh, just stopped into the camp to see how things were, check on them. And we're going to be doing some bird hunting today. We're hopefully going to be able to get some, I'm not sure. Um, we'll see how this morning goes. So good morning, hopefully we'll be able to down a couple birds. <laughs> So we just got busted by a partridge. He's right there in that tree. He just flew back in a little ways. Um, so I'm gonna go in, see if I can't sneak up on him and give him a shot. There's generally gonna be more in here. It's always a good spot. So I lost track of that last partridge back there. Anyway, so I just followed. This kind of loops back around to the camp. So. At least we're seeing something. So, I just walked past the trail camera right there. There's another trail camera sitting right there. There's a pile of apples. Um, so I imagine somebody's got a stand. Somebody's got a stand up here somewhere. Yeah, there's a stand right there. Good spot as any. <laughs> it was funny when I seen the other trail camera, I just looked over at it, gave a wave. But just that one bird. Hmm. Might have to switch it up, go somewhere else. Rather surprised actually that there's not that many birds up here there usually is so I'm just gonna cut down through the woods here I'm back at the camp and uh, you should notice this driveway it's all roots it's all garbage and I hated bringing my any truck in here that wasn't high enough to clear the roots so I got my new truck in here and uh, well broke my flat Nothing big. I think there's a partridge right there. Yeah, so I just seen them. There's a partridge right in that tree. I'm going to sneak up over here and pop around and pop them. Damn. Yes, sir. He's gonna have quite a bit of shells in him, I think. Quite a bit of BBs. Um, there's his nerves going. So one down. I'm gonna say that was the one that I had spooked earlier from up there that come up this way. Um, sweet. So no more birds, just this one that I got. And uh, I'm gonna quickly show you guys how I deal with partridge. Um, whether I'm like this one, I'm just gonna breast it out and uh, throw everything else away. I might keep the legs depending how much meat's on those. But anyways, 
Let's just uh, dive right into this. But all I ever do, I just step on the wings. Just like that. I'm gonna grab a hold of the legs. All I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pull straight up. There you go. And uh, whole gizzard and everything come right off at the back quarter. Front quarter. So now it's the messy time, messy part. So I gotta cut these wings off. So as you can tell, I took the legs out. There's not that much meat on the legs itself. Um, so those are gonna get cut cut off. I'm gonna cut right here and then I'm gonna be left with just this breast. Which mind you is a pretty nice looking breast. There's no bullet holes, and eh, well, there's one right up here. So not a bad shot. So I'm gonna maximize as much meat off this breast as I can. There's two wings. So you, right underneath that joint, right up close to the breast, that's where I cut that at. Um, and then yeah, you're left with this, your breast, and all I do, I just pull the remainder of the uh, feathers off, enough. Then I'll give her a rinse. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna wash all this like blood out and everything, because I'm gonna throw, and what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut it down this center of the breastbone and make like basically two chicken breasts, or two partridge breasts. Take the legs and you gotta cut uh, the feet off. So it's pretty simple. Just like that, you got a leg there. Then you just do the same thing, you rinse them off. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to cut right along this breastbone. I'm using my fillet knife because it's the sharpest knife that I have. Um, I'm just going to cut right along that bone. Nice and keep your, keep it nice and tight to get the most out of that fillet. Then you just cut, cut, cut until that piece comes right off. It should happen any moment now. Boom. And then there is one partridge breast. And you do the same to the other side. And then you can like, even after you're done, I see a lot of people what they do. Well, the people that I know, I should say. Once they cut the breast off, they'll just throw this whole remaining piece in the pan, let it cook, and then they'll just eat it like a chicken wing to get all the rest of the meat off of it. Boom, it's that easy. There's your second one. Now, as you can tell, you don't get much too too much meat off these birds but the odd time they'll shoot a real nice one that's been big and been alive for years and if you want you can just take the rest of it and you can just cut the excess meat off and throw it in the pan and that's all you're left with and then come over here grab the legs Give the legs a quick rinse off once again. There's not much you need to do with the legs. You can just throw them right in the pan just like that. Boom, and there's your bird. You got your legs, your breast, your little pieces that come off the side here, and that's all you need to do. And with the, the partridge, we got the classico spicy tomato and parmesan, and we got ourselves some pasta, water's boiling. I'm not gonna tell you guys how to cook pasta because it's pretty easy. I'm gonna put a little bit of spices on the uh, partridge though. And as always, it is our go-to spices. We get pepper, Kirkland, President's Choice, Pink Rock Salt, and uh, Kirkland garlic. So I'm just gonna do the legs real quick. You don't need much. 
those little pieces are going to cook extremely fast um, compared to the bigger ones obviously a little bit of salt on there oh cheers <laughs> don't forget to uh stir your stuff like i just forgot to do right there and put the pepper on the bird voila just like that as you can tell this partridge is cooked um and all i do that's 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 her that's basically her right there and uh i'm gonna take this stuff right off the heat I'm gonna leave you guys with that. I hope you guys enjoyed that little hunt and cook. I'm gonna dive into this, and uh, we'll catch you guys on the next next wave. So remember, live life cast by cast. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and uh, we'll see you next time. Cheers, peace.